Welcome to your today's vinyasa, right on the beach in front of the Andaman Sea. We start standing and I just placed a block at the very top of my mat. I'm not queuing any helping tools, but if you like to have a block, we're going to have one Adha Chandrasana, so it might be helpful to set it up in front of your mat. We start hip width distance with the feet apart and to arrive here fully, we use some tapping actions. So we start tapping with the heels. Be soft within your knees while doing so. And then take the help of your palms as well, tapping the outer sides of your thighs, taking it up towards your lower belly, and then towards the kidney areas, lower part of your spine, towards solar plexus, getting the energy rising and flowing, the top of your chest, the trapezius, and very gently the crown of your heart. And then we are taking this back down, trapezius, upper chest, solar plexus, kidney area, lower part of your belly, and the outer thighs. And then let it go, come to stillness, find Tadasana, close your eyes for a moment. Feel the energy moving through your body. Take a deep in breath. Sigh it out through your open mouth. Deep inhale here it down. And a long exhale through your nose. Reblink your eyes open. And if you haven't done already, come to the front of your mat, to the top of your mat. Feet are still having hip width distance. Take an inhale, climb onto tippy toes and reach up with your arms. And then open the arms into a cactus shape. Lift your heart, belly is firm, glutes are squeezing. And rise the arms back up. Inhale here, and with the exhale, turn the palms around, swan dive into Uttanasana. Have a generous bend within your knees so the torso folds upon your thighs. Inhale, climb your palms onto the tops of your chin bones, extend the spine, and fold. Again, inhale. Exhale to fold. Inhale, one more. Feel the full length of your spine. And and now climb upon fingertips. Find an L shape, send your weight into your right foot and extend the left. Whenever you are ready, bring palms in to heart center and rise the left knee up, reach up with your arms. And now swing the arms and the legs through, third warrior variation, and land softly. Bring both palms onto the front thigh and reach up with your torso. Let the hips sink. And now frame your front foot and step it back into a first plank push up. Lower knees down, chin and chest. And go into a tiny little cobra. Point the toes away, send the shoulders down your back. And then over the knees, find downward facing dog. Keep the bend within your knees, especially if you are reaching the first down dog of today. 
maybe walking this out a little or shifting hips from side to side whatever you normally do when you reach your first downward facing dog making sure that the hat is softly hanging in between upper arms come on find stillness here take an inhale a deep one and open your mouth lift your left leg and step through release your right knee down point the toes away lean forward shift the hips forward and maybe lifting the back knee standing the right leg feel the stretch and then use some momentum to step the right foot forward into Uttanasana inhale second side climb on fingertips send the weight onto your left and reach back with your right palms in prayer and rise if this right knee reach with your fingertips and then swing everything through soft landing release the right knee down press both palms onto front thigh send the hips forward and reach up arms around the front foot step it back into high push-up knees chest and chin cobra maybe a higher one and downward facing dog deep in breath here lifting hips high and open the mouth for the exhale right leg is rising step through and release the left knee point the toes away and maybe lifting this left knee away from the earth reaching forward feel the stretch and then use the momentum to step this left one forward Uttanasana let the hips think and find an open leg Utkatasana here just to touch and then rise onto tippy toes Ooh, keep the stand on the tippy toes if available reaching up with your palms and open into this cactus shape heart is rising belly firm glutes are tight and on arms are reaching up inhale here again and then fold over legs inhale climb on fingertips and this time the right one is going back first extend the right leg palms in prayer and then reach up swing the right one through third warrior land here softly reach up with your arms and let the arms circle around so you can interlace the fingers right thumb on top lift and rise your heart shoulder blades are coming closer together lean forward and curl the back toes under spin the back foot flat and find second warrior legs torso is central front knee is bent over the ankle inhale extend your arms and lift your heart and then find an humble warrior you may put your left shoulder on top of your thigh or go towards the inner edge of the leg and let the heart be heavy deep inhale here and with the exhale maybe shifting the shoulders further away from your ears and reach forward Press into feet and rise into second warrior. Open the arms and let the palms face up. And then circle the arms around. Step it back. Push up. First, push up if you are choosing. Otherwise, you do chin, um, knees, chin, and chest. Rise into a cobra or into an up dog. And 
Atemmuck ist von Asana. Deep in breath hier. Zeig es aus. Right foot is lifting first. Step the right one through. Release the left knee. Reach up. Bring palms in prayer and see whether you can just step the left one forward and fold into Uttanasana. Inhale, climb up on fingertips. Send the weight onto your right and lift the left one. Palms in prayer and rise up. Third warrior. Release the left knee, swing the arms up. Circle the arms around and the left thumb is on top, left forefinger on top, and lift your heart. Lean forward, curl the back toes under, and spin the back foot flat into second warrior legs. Rise. Inhale here, and with the exhale, humble warrior. Let the head be softly hanging. And send the arms over head as far as your shoulders are allowing it. Press into feet and rise back up into second warrior. Open arms wide and let the palms be open. And now circle the arms around the front foot, stepping it back. High push up. Lower knees down, forearms down, glide through. And take it back into downward facing dog. Lift the left leg and step it through. Rise. Hips are moving forward and bring palms in prayer. Lean slightly forward and step the right foot next to the left for Uttanasana. Bend the knees. Find this Utkatasana on the way onto tippy toes to rise high. Open arms into cactus. Lift the heart. And then reaching up with your palms or the hasta on Tippy toes and point the palms away from you, release the heels and fold. Inhale, rise, climbing on fingertips, send the weight onto your right again. So the left one is going back first. Palms in front of heart center. Reach up. Down. Lower the left foot down, keep the knee lifted. Both knees are bent and you are shifting your hips forward. Inhale here to rise. And exhale to interlace the fingers again, left thumb on top. Lean forward, spin the back foot flat. Second warrior to find this humble, this variation where you send the knuckles of your palms over heart to release the shoulders. And then press into your feet to lift back up into second warrior. Open the arms wide. And with the next inhale, keep the, ar the arms like they are. Lean into your back to reverse. So the front palm is going over heart. The other one is reaching for your front heel. And with the exhale, find side angle with these wide open arms, like windmill wipers. Reach forward and side angle with extended arms. And now look down, take both palms around front foot, step it back into high push up. Skip the vinyasa if you think you may go right back into down dog. Otherwise, have a push up. 
lower knees down, forearms down, and glide through. Down duck. Deep in breath here. Side out. Lift your left leg and step through. Keep the back knee lifted. Lower your hips down to extend. And with the exhale, fold towards the inside of your left leg. Rebound the left one and step forward. Uttanasana. Inhale, back on fingertips. Lift the right leg, palms in prayer, and rise. Enjoy the balance the body is offering. And now swing the right one through. Land, the knee stays lifted. Scoop the pelvis forward by rising the arms. Interlacing the fingers behind, right thumb on top. Opening and rising here. Leaning forward to spin the back foot flat. Second warrior. Release for humble warrior. And see how much you can bring your heart close to the left inner ankle. And the arms further over hat. And then rise again, open the arms, palms are facing up. And with these windmill arms, reverse this warrior. Find side angle. Inhale to reverse. Exhale to lean forward. And then look down, circle both arms around the front foot and step it back. Have a push up here. Lower knees and forearms down and glide through. Step it back into down dog. Deep in breath here. And side it up, side it out through your open mouth. Right leg is rising and step through. Climb on fingertips, lower the hips down, expand your spine and fold. Rebend the front knee and step the left one forward. Uttanasana. Lower the hips down, bend knees and swing the arms into Utkatasana. Climb onto tippy toes again. Open the arms into cactus. Reaching up high. Ooh, try to stay on the toes. Point the palms away and swan dive into Uttanasana. Inhale, climbing back up on fingertips. Last round. Extend the right one. Palms in prayer and rise. Reach up here. Swing the right one through. Lower down. And take the arms behind, interlace. Reach up with your heart. Feel the space you have been creating. And then lean forward, spin the back foot flat. Humble warrior. Press into feet and rise back up, using the strength of your lats. Open arms wide and keep the arms like this. Just for one round in between reverse and side angle, inhale here. Exhale, lean forward, 
circle the arms around the front foot and step it back. Push up. Move through the vinyasa. And let the heart rise. Downward facing dog. Deep in breath here. And a long exhale. Shorten your down dog a little. And then lifting your left leg. And we are bending this right knee and hopping forward with the right foot. We use this left one as a momentum stick. We do this three times. Hop the right one forward and hop it back. Once again or twice again. Hop forward. Use this left one as a balancing stick. And the last one. Inhale, L shape again. And with the exhale, draw the knee towards your nose. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to scoop in. Inhale. Bring knee and nose together while exhaling. And now we're going to open and maybe you're going to use your block. We open into Adha Chandra. You may also try to hover the right fingertips. Reaching up into all different directions. Flexing the back foot. Deep in breath here. Long exhale. And then all its fingers are coming back to earth. Square your hips. Draw knee into chest, into nose again. To level the hips. And then send the left leg through. Find a pistol, maybe without your palms. See what's possible. And then lower the hips down. And take the right one over for an easy twist. Scoop the right knee towards your left shoulder. Right fingertips behind, lengthen the spine. Um, take the gaze into your right. Inhale here it comes. Um, and then come back to center. Place the right foot back down. You may oops, do it without the help of your palms to come back into this pistol or use your fingertips, whatever. And then see whether you can swing this left one back once again into this L shape before you step the left one side by side with the right for Uttanasana. And then, last piece, climb back onto fingertip. Extend your heart into this L shape. Send the weight onto your right and lift the left. Palms in prayer. And reach up with your left leg. Extend throughout your fingertips. And then swing everything back. Inhale to rise. Circle the arms around, left thumb on top. Scoop the shoulders towards one another to reach high. And then lean forward. Second warrior shape. And move into humble. Use the strength of your legs and feet to let the torso rise again, open arms wide. And then reverse this, these wide open arms. Just one round. Lean into your back. And find this side angle shape. Before you circle both arms around the front foot and step it back for the last vinyasa if you are choosing. Dive through.
and take it back into downward facing dog. Deep in breath here. Sigh it out. Shorten your down dog a little. This hopping action again. So rise your right leg. Put a bend into the left and hop forward. Hop back. Use the right one as a balancing stick. And once again, keep the right one extended and draw right knee into chest, into your nose. Inhale, extend. Exhale, to scoop in. Inhale to lengthen and hold the knee in for a moment and then open into Ardha Chandrasana. Use whatever is helping you to find this balancing pose, the full expression of the pose, reaching arms away from one another, flexing the back foot rolling your heart open and maybe even taking your gaze towards the side or even towards the upper arm come on all ten fingers are coming back level your hips draw knee towards your nose to feel centered again and then send this right one through into this pistol Maybe you can do it without palms here as well. And then lower down completely. Take the left foot over the right. Scoop the knee towards your shoulder and find this easy twist. Inhale here and gaze into your left. Lengthen the spine. And take it into your back. Come back. Take the left foot down. See what's necessary to take this right one back and through. Just once again. Before you step the right one next to your left. And fold into Uttanasana. Lower the hips down. Reach up, climb on tippy toes, and open your heart just once again. Feel the space you have been creating across your chest. Collar collarbones are open. And now let the heels sing and the hips as well sink down into a deep squat. If you can't go all the way down, use some props below your heels or climb onto tippy toes to be able to open the knees and fold towards the inner side of your chins, knees, thighs, bringing the palms in prayer in front of you. Or if you prefer this version, bringing the palms into your back. You can also do this on, on tippy toes if the ankles are not, not allowing this deep squatting position. Fold into yourself. Feel this rounding sensation on the back side of your spine. Opening sensation across the lowest part of your spine, lower back. And then come back, bring the hands in prayer and let your hips sink down. Take a big hug around your chin bones. Lift the toes away from the earth and create this little ball where you release the forehead down onto kneecaps. And 
Stampe release. Reach forward with your legs, reach forward with your arms, and lower down as slowly as possible. Lay down completely. Draw the knees into your chest. Give yourself a loving squeeze before you take the right knee over the left. Hop the pelvis slightly over to your right to find a spinal twist where the knees are coming over to your left. Take the right shoulder down your back. Send the right hip away from your right armpit, right shoulder. And then uncross the legs, come back to center, pull this back into the center line. Left one is going on top, hop the pelvis towards your left. Let the knees fall to your right. Left palm is turned open to release the shoulder more easy, easily, down onto your mouth. Send the left hip away from your shoulder. And then uncross the legs, take them back into center, hop the pelvis back into center. Once again, squeezing the knees into your chest. And then extend the legs, send the feet down onto the earth, open the palms towards the ceiling, scoop the shoulders underneath and extend one leg at a time. Just for a short final relaxation in Shavasana to digest all the benefits you have been working for. And for the last conscious breath, imagine crystal clear water, maybe a mountain spring. And with the next inhale, you imagine this crystal clear water on top of the crown of your head. And you inhale it deep throughout the crown of your heart. And with the exhale, you send this water, this rinsing, cleansing source down into your right kidney. And rinse the kidney. With the next inhale, you inhale again this stream of crystal clear water throughout your crown. And while exhaling, you take it down into your left kidney to rinse and cleanse. One more round. Inhale crystal clear water. And with the exhale, take it all the way into your right kidney. To release and rinse. Inhale, crystal clear water. And then sun this rinsing quality down into your left kidney. Slowly come back here. Move within fingers and toes. Reach arms over heart if this makes sense. Draw the knees into chest. Turn over to one side or rock forward and back to find a cross-legged seat. Sit nice and tall. The eyes still closed. 
And now bring palms in prayer and bow down in front of yourself to give thanks and honor for yourself spending this time on your mat to recreate, replenish, refresh yourself. Namaste. Lift your heart back up. Reblink your eyes open. Thank you so much for being here with me. Hope to see you soon again. Namaste.